Hey folks, this clip is brought to you by the fastest growing sports book in Tennessee, Zen Sports. In total A to Z, T N, A T O Z, T N to earn a welcome bonus that gives you 5% cash back on your total betting volume for your first 15 days of betting. That is Zen Sports. Tennessee has a coaching change on this staff. And, and it's one that you're seeing more and more often in college sports is guys going to the NFL. And Jerry Mack, running backs coach for Tennessee, who has who's really, I mean, the running backs during Josh Heupel's tenure have been really good. I Obviously, we saw it this past year. Jalen Wright, absolute dog. Jabari Small has, has been great. Dylan Sampson, we all know. Um and he is headed to the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, to go be their running running backs coach, taking the same job in the NFL. And this always, we don't necessarily have to go into this, but this always makes a ton of sense to me when guys make this jump. There's no recruiting. It's it's basically half the job for a lot of the time, more pay. And it college football is a, a job that just beats you over the head. Uh, with the schedule and everything that you have to do to recruit and and re-recruit the players that are on your actual team and then actually coach the team and do everything that you have to do with it, it it makes so much sense when guys jump to the NFL. Congratulations to Jerry Mack on that position. That's cool. Um, and now Tennessee has an open spot on the staff. Uh, just your your quick thoughts on on Mack making this move. I mean, it's you can't blame the guy. Uh, I don't know that Jacksonville is the most desirable place to live. <laughs> it's in Florida, I guess, but it's not the you know, it's not it's not a little bit warmer, Beach maybe or Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, I, I think it comes down to workload and and the amount of time you're able to spend with family. I mean, I totally get that, one hundred percent. You just get to go coach football. You don't have to worry about calling recruits and negotiating NIL deals and flying across the country. In January to go see that guys, you know, you can kind of chill at home and spend time with your family. It's it's an easy decision, I think, if it's an opportunity there. And and honestly, with Jerry Mack, he, he did an interview with Volquest, and it sounded like he was a bit conflicted about leaving because of what they built at Tennessee. And that's that's a huge testament to the culture and being in the building. It sounds like people like working at Tennessee, which this is I think only the third coach that Hypo's had to replace in three years. I mean, we remember all of the turnover from the Jeremy Pruitt era. It, I mean, it was constant. I mean, in season, it was just a mess. And you don't have that at all. The, the three coaches that have left now, you know, Cody Burns left for the NFL. He kind of saw what was coming, I guess, got an opportunity. Alex Golish left to become a head coach, done really well, led, led his new program to a bowl win. And, and now Jerry Matt going to his first NFL job. So, you know, just just kind of one of the realities of, of trying to manage a college football staff in 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 these times. I think it's an opportunity for for Tennessee to go out and then try to hire a good recruiter. Jerry Mack was kind of one of the unknowns. He 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 hadn't worked with Hypo before. We didn't know how that would work. Obviously, he's done tremendously well. That running back room has been tremendous. You've kept it intact. You've kept, kept Dylan Sampson on campus. You had Jalen Wright, you know, one of the best seasons since uh, since Jalen Hurd in 2015 this past season. You know, he did his job really well. So there are big shoes to fill, and it's an important role. Uh, I, I think it'll probably be an outside hire. I don't think there's anybody internal that really makes a lot of sense, and, and Heupel prefers to go internal, but he might have to go outside from this one, which – Clearly, Jerry Mack wasn't a guy he'd worked with before. He's hired people from outside. When he was at UCF, Alex Dolish, you know, wasn't a guy that he'd worked with before. I would, I would like to see. I think my ideal hire would be Anthony Jones, the TCU running backs coach. I don't know if he'll really get involved or not. He's from Memphis, coached at Memphis, he's coached high school in Memphis. Uh, you know that that's a huge recruiting area for Tennessee that they really need to kind of own. And especially with Lane, uh, Lane Kiffin there at Ole Miss kind of in the area played college football, Chattanooga. He's coached under Sonny Dyke. So he's familiar with the air raid system, which I know that's not what Hypo runs, but there's some similarities where it's kind of a different type of style. He understands kind of how that system works. I think it'd be a seamless fit. I, I think he'd make a lot of sense. I feel like somebody like Matt Merritt might end up being a likely choice. He, he he was at Tennessee as an analyst, 
Hypo initially hired him to be the running backs coach at UCF in 2021 before he landed at Tennessee. He came as an analyst. Uh, it's football season, and it's time to switch to Zen Sports, the fastest growing sports book in Tennessee, changing the bonus game with their cash rewards program. When you sign up for Zen Sports with code A to Z T N A T O Z T N, earn a welcome bonus that gives you 5% cash back on your total betting volume for your first 15 days of betting. And if you have friends who bet on sports, share your Zen Sports referral bonus code with them and you will earn 3% of their betting volume for their first six months of betting on Zen Sports with no cap on how much you can earn. So what are you waiting for? Stop wasting time and money on other sports books when you could when you could be earning real cash rewards with Zen Sports. Download today on the App Store at ZenSports.com. And your wallet will thank you later. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-889-9789. Terms and conditions apply. Must be 21 or older in Tennessee to bet. That is Zen Sports. Go download it now. Ended up coaching at USF this past season. Just got hired at Miami. Don't don't know if that's necessarily a roadblock to hiring him. We're seeing guys make switches all the time. And Craig Fitzgerald, the old Tennessee strength and conditioning coach, for example, was hired by Florida five weeks ago and he just left for boston college boston college you know kind of <laughs> school but a powerhouse yeah in the middle like the most important time for a strength and conditioning coach this is kind of when they have control of the team and, and he left florida that's kind of a haha florida thing i guess but it's just an example of like you you see these kind of things happen right like alabama's new offensive coordinator off to the nfl already you know after being at alabama for a couple of weeks so you can go get a guy like Matt Meredith. You know, he would make sense since he kind of has some experience. That would almost be like, you know, a promotion of sorts. So there, there's some decent options out there, I think, for Hypo. And at this point, you, you just kind of have to trust that he's going to make a pretty solid hire. I wouldn't look for like uh, Jay Graham, Montario Hardesty, the former Vol type guys. Like they, they, they're former Vols. That's the only reason they make sense. I mean, South Carolina fans wanted Hardesty out of there. It just doesn't, outside of the fact that they played at Tennessee, what sense does it make? I'm, I don't want to say that I'm done with former Vol hires, uh, but Pruitt and Butch pretty much, I, I think it, it made it obvious with a few of the things that happened there that hiring former Vols is not a silver bullet for something. It's always great to have former guys back around the program and and have. It's a good dudes. PR move. It always is. And and no nobody if you were to go and hire Montario Hardesty, yes, people wanted him out of South Carolina, but there's no Tennessee fans that are going to dog you for yeah. bringing back Montario Hardesty. You know that it's going to be a well-liked hire, but it just, I, first of all, Heupel's not that guy. I don't think he, he never, he has not been in his time at Tennessee. As you said, he really leans towards internal hires and, um, you know, it's just more that type of guy. Uh, and, <laughs> I, I don't want to be dismissive of the running backs coach position, but I'll put it this way. It's not your head coach like the, and it's not your offensive coordinator. It's a little more important than an offensive analyst, but at the end of the day, this dude's a recruiter and that's what I really care about. And, and to our point there, this is a sport that especially when you're a dog recruiter, it, it'll wear you down. It's tons and tons of work. It's a single man's game. It's a young man's game. It's not easy. It's easier to go to the NFL, uh, as we've already been saying. And so I, those guys are still out there. The super hungry, ready to climb the ladder, all about going and, and getting dudes on the recruiting trail. Those types of coaches are out there. Go find one. If it's inside, if it's an inside hire, fine. If it's an outside hire, fine. I don't know what it is, but get the guy that's going to go be a five-star running back out off the recruiting trailer out of the transfer portal. That's all I really care about because at the end of the day, Josh Heupel is going to make this running back look good in this offense. And I don't, you know, it's neither here nor there, frankly, as far as how the coaching goes. You know, you, you don't want it to be completely incompetent. But if you're if you are far enough along in this profession to even be considered for the Tennessee running backs coach job, you've you've done decently for yourself. I, I trust that you won't, you know, just absolutely drive these guys' talent into the ground. Um, and so go go get a good 
recruiter. That's what has to happen in the SEC, especially if Tennessee really can get the NCAA's rules de deemed illegal, and then you can, you know, you can go and really do what you want in, in uh, the NIL space. I, it's that's my wish always. That's <laughs> that's gonna be my wish for anybody, all, all the way up to the coordinator position. Even at the coordinator position, you really gotta be a dogged recruiter. So that's that's really the the bulk of that.